Hello Aquarius, welcome to a you and them love reading. Welcome to all of the new subscribers. Welcome back if you're new. Thank you so much for being here. Um, we're going to jump into a reading all about you, your person, your connection, and where it's all headed. So let's get started for Aquarius. Now, as always, it's a general love reading Aquarius, so it will not resonate with every single person 100%. So just take what resonates. Uh, if it does not resonate at all, check out my playlist for Aquarius. You can get to that by clicking on my username here on YouTube and looking at my playlist. Okay. Spirits, angels, guides, messages for Aquarius, please, and love. What do they need to know regarding love? What is going on? We'll start by looking at what's going on in your connection first. What's going on? This is going to be a reading for those of you who are already in a connection or have someone in mind, okay? For Aquarius, what's going on for them in love? Oh, we got the Six of Coin. What is going on for Aquarius in love? What's going on for Aquarius in love? The Empress, nice, with the Six of Coins. Someone could be recognizing your worth here. Um, maybe they're willing to give you what you're worth or offer you what you're worth. What's going on for players in love, we'll see. Seven of Coin Reverse, interesting. Gemini got some um, similar cards. They also got the Empress and the Seven of Coin Reverse. Um, Seven of Coin Reverse is about a card where, or it is a card um, where um, maybe you've invested somewhere, put in a lot of time and energy into something that hasn't grown, hasn't manifested. Perhaps it was the wrong investment, or perhaps a lot of time has passed and something still hasn't grown. Which is strange because there's an Empress here, and the Empress can grow all kinds of things. Um, they are able to manifest abundance and, you know, they have everything, all the resources, all the, everything that it takes to grow abundance and manifest, basically. So let's get some more uh, insight here into what's going on. Spirit, give me some insight into this connection. Oop, hold on. Already my cards are falling on the floor. Give me some insight into this connection, please, Spirit, for Aquarius and this other person. What's going on in this connection? What's going on in this connection? For Aquarius. Okay, we got reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. What else? Oh, this is bothering me. Please bear with me. <laughs> Please bear with me, guys. Okay. <laughs> What else is happening here for Aquarius? What's going on in this connection? Oh, that one wanted to fly out. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. Okay. Bottom of the deck, heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Oh, what is going on <laughs> with my deck? Cards are literally flying. Okay, so let's get some energy oracles here. So I'm using my Stellar Energy Oracle deck. This is available um, and then in link down below in the description box if you want to check it out. If you're on mobile, you can get to the description box by clicking on the title right underneath the video. Tell me more about the energy surrounding this connection. What are the energies? We got secret admirer, intrigue, watchful attraction. You've caught someone's eye. Okay. Secret admirer. 
someone's watching you or keeping tabs on you here. This could also be vice versa because this is your um, mutual energies. This is just what's going on in the connection. So both of your energies could be here. So feel free to flip it. Tell me more. Patiently waiting. Waiting, patience, faith. What you desire will be given at the right time. Have faith. This person has been biding their time is what I'm getting here. That is what I'm getting here. It's like they've been waiting for something to happen or for something to, um, maybe an opportunity. Let's clarify and see. Let's see. Aquarius. Spirit, tell me more for Aquarius. It could be somebody from your past because there is reconciliation card here. Um, however, we also have to pay attention to the red flag. So something could be a little off here. <laughs> this deck is so funny. It's a little. Okay, let's see. Why is the six of coin here? Why is the six of coin here? Page of Swords, yeah, someone's definitely watching you. Might even be uh, texting you, looking you up online. Tell me more about the Six of Coin. <laughs> page of Pentacles, Page of Swords. Yeah, this is somebody I feel like they, they're watching you with the intent to give you something, ask you out here. Can get one more for the six of coin. Yeah, the chariot, cancer energy, definitely. This person could even be coming to see you, like visiting you. Um, they want to move forward with you. I have the Knight of Pentacles at the bottom. Like, what aren't they going to offer you? Is basically what I'm saying here. Cancer energy with the chariot. Okay, so why is the Empress here? And with the Six of Coin, you know, maybe this is mutual, maybe it's not. Maybe you don't feel the same way. Um, obviously, it's going to be up to you whether you accept this, whatever they want to give you. But this is, I feel, the intent here. Why is the Empress? Tell me about the Empress. Wow, death, Scorpio energy. Endings, change, transformation. Tell me more about the Empress. Wow, Seven of Swords reverse. This is someone that gets caught with their hand in the cookie jar. Um, I have the Two of Cups at the bottom. So this is in regards to possibly the partnership with this person or the connection with this person. I feel like maybe you caught them doing something or um, you realize something about this person. Why is the Seven of Swords here reverse? Maybe you put an end to this connection. Or maybe realizing this about this person changed everything. Why is the Seven of Swords reverse? The Hangman reverse. And then we have the six of coin again. So this person could be wanting to make things right, rebalance the situation um, because maybe you caught them doing something um, or you realized something about them. Now with the hangman reverse, this is someone that doesn't want to sacrifice. Um, maybe they're not able to see a situation from a different angle or they don't have that clarity. Tell me more about the seven of swords reverse. Tell me more about the seven of swords reverse, please. Ooh, seven of Wands reverse. My goodness. Yeah, you know what I'm getting? It's almost like you weren't... Um, some of you gave up. Others of you didn't want to fight anymore about this. What's this death card about? 
Like once you found this out, like that was it. That was enough for you to bounce. Why is death here? This could also be happening outside of your connection. Two of Pentacles. Okay, so um, this is someone that possibly is weighing their options here about changing or ending something. I'm trying to make a choice with the lovers at the bottom of the deck here. I feel like someone's trying to decide, um, and this could have been you here, because I feel like you're these, you're this Empress energy. Um, I feel like uh, someone's trying to decide if they want to make a different choice here to end this situation for something else. Um, maybe someone's going back and forth about changing or cha making a change or ending a cycle here. Why is the seven of coin reverse? King of swords reverse. Why is the seven of coin reverse? Ace of wands. Yeah, I feel like someone wants to manifest a new beginning, have a new beginning here. Um, but with the King of Swords reverse, there's like conflict. And I have the Five of Wands at the bottom. So there's like conflict arguments. Um, maybe this had a lot of potential, but I, for some reason I'm getting that. Um, I don't know, like it didn't really manifest here. Can I get one more? Nine of Pentacles. Again, I feel like this is your energy. I feel like you are very solid, stable, possibly single, um, and you have admirers. Uh, you might have a lot of options, but this particular person that's interested in you, um, I feel like they might they might have done something, um, or or deceived you in some way in the past. Because I feel like now they want to kind of make things right. So let's see if I'm right about that. Let's put down some um, cards for your energies for each other here. Tell me more about Aquarius and this other person, Karen. What are they thinking or feeling about each other? Aquarius and this other person. Tell me about Aquarius. What are their energies in this connection? About Aquarius. Spider, okay. Tell me about the person that Aquarius is dealing with. What are their energies in this connection? The person that Aquarius is dealing with. This other person. The otter. Interesting, uh, very youthful energy, young, uh, possibly inexperienced, um, happy, joyful. This person probably has a good sense of humor, plays around a lot, possibly can be childish or immature for some of you. I feel like you're a hard worker over here. Let's get some energy. Oracles. Tell me about Aquarius. Tell me more about Aquarius and the energy they're bringing to this connection. Balancing act. You're juggling multiple things at once. Juggling indecision balance. That's you here. You're trying to decide what to do about a situation, maybe even about this person. Um, I feel like you, you're probably working hard, have a lot going on in your life. Maybe this is just too much for you or not enough. Tell me if that's resonating down in the comments. Tell me more about this person that Aquarius is dealing with. What are their energies? Unexpected event. Wow, we got the tower here. Revelation, upheaval, endings, unexpected, shocking events have shaken things up. This person probably caused a tower. Or a tower. They're experiencing a tower right now. They didn't cause it. Deep regret at the bottom of the deck, definitely. Let's get some secret moon oracles to get some more insight. Tell me more about this person. What are they secretly thinking or feeling about Aquarius? What are they secretly thinking or feeling about Aquarius? Oh, that one flipped right away. You are my soulmate. One more, please. What are they secretly thinking or feeling about Aquarius? 
I regret what happened. Another card about regret. So yes, I feel like this is someone that um, maybe through their behavior, through their choices, um, they didn't poss They probably didn't think of things through very well. Um, you are my soulmate, and I regret what happened. So they regret what they what they've done because you were possibly someone very special. And I feel like this is someone from the past because I have this reconciliation card here. Um, so let's get some more information about you and them. Tell me more about Aquarius. Now, Aquarius, I have you on this side. I have your person on the other, but it can be flipped. So feel free to flip it if it resonates more. Tell me more about Aquarius, please. Tell me more about Aquarius. Their energies. What are they thinking or feeling at this time? Eight of coin reverse and justice reverse. So things aren't fair to you, balance in your mind. Um, things aren't working out here with the eight of coin reverse. Uh, the moon reverse, interesting. You found something out is what I'm, I'm picking up. Tell me about the person that Aquarius is dealing with. And things feel unfair to you. You feel like things are unfair, not happening the way that you were hoping. Tell me about the person that Aquarius is dealing with. What are their feelings? How's your feelings at this time? I feel like you put in a lot of um, effort into, the, there's that soulmate card, the Six of Cups, this person. Either they're an ex or um, they think you are their soulmate. I don't know if you feel the same way, but that's what they're thinking here. I feel like you put in a lot of work into something and, and it's like you feel like your energy was wasted. Tell me more about this person that Aquarius is dealing with. They have good memories, two of swords reverse. Good memories with you. Um, they think about you, I feel. They look at the past and they think about your connection. Let's clarify. Anymore. Some more information here. Tell me about the Eight of Coin reverse. It's the Eight of Coin reverse. Four of Pentacles reverse. It's the Eight of Coin reverse. The Four reverse. Yeah, I, I almost, some of you feel like you were dumb or you shouldn't have done what you did. You shouldn't have put as much effort into something. I feel also some of you are thinking about letting this go, being free of this. Maybe that hasn't officially happened yet. Maybe you haven't pulled the trigger, but you're thinking about it. Because you're starting to realize that this isn't fair to you, I feel. Tell me about the justice card reverse. Why is justice reverse? It's justice reverse. Five of Pentacles reverse. Tell me about justice reverse. Yeah, you don't want to struggle. Yeah, you don't want to uh, struggle anymore. You want to recover what you've lost. Um, I feel like some of you feel alone in this connection. Like even though you're together or, you know, talking to this person it's like for some reason i feel like there's a distance there now temperance reverse this is a sagittarius energy this is something that's not coming together not rebalancing not working out for you uh, more time is needed more patience is needed to bring something into balance um or perhaps you're just realizing that this wasn't meant to be or this wasn't meant to work out maybe it's too much work I get one more for Justice Reverse. Yeah, this is you trying to figure something out, trying to get control over the situation with the Emperor card. Aries energy there. So you're trying to, I, I feel like you're willing to work on um, being an Empress, recognizing your worth, doing what needs to be done. Um, but I feel like there's some sort of clarity that you're, you're getting here. Tell me about the Six of Cups.
Page of Wands reverse. Tell me about the Page of Cups. Uh, not the Page of Cups. The Six of Cups. Sorry. Tell me about the Six of Cups. Three of Wands. This is some, this is the person that's waiting. It's like they're waiting for a chance to start over, but that hasn't happened here. Um, the Justice card at the bottom. They could be waiting to make things right, wanting to make things right here. But with the with the page of wands reverse, I don't feel like they can even get that started for some reason. Either you block them or they don't know what to say. Maybe they start talking to you or texting you and then they, you know, delete the text, something like that. Why is the six of cups here? King of Pentacles, interesting. This person could be presenting themselves with the King of, of Pentacles, but I'm not picking up that they are. They're an otter. They're, I feel like they're very young uh, mentally. But they know that they need to appear as this King of Pentacles to you. Or perhaps this is what they do. They are able to mask themselves as a King of Pentacles. Someone solid, stable, uh, successful. And, you know, maybe they are. But in other ways, they're not. You know like like inwardly like maybe they're they're not like for example maybe this is someone that has a really good job but when it comes time to make an adult decision they don't know how to even do that something like that tell me about the two of swords reverse that's just an example tell me about the two of swords reverse this is a choice i feel knight of pentacles reverse see when it comes time to like deliver a message um I feel like their intent is Page of Swords, Page of of Pentacles here, making you a small offer. Because I don't think they can do more than that. Tell me about the Two of Swords reverse. Queen of Cups, a lot of love. See, there's love, but there's not commitment or solid uh, a solid offer here. Ten of Pentacles and the Five of wands reverse hopefully this person isn't already in some sort of a commitment um but what i'm picturing here is it's almost like they want to give you what you want it's like let's not fight anymore let's do the ten of pentacles thing <laughs> you know um i'm willing to work on this i'm willing to do what it takes i regret everything i love you kind of energy but it's very slow in actually, like, the Knight of Pentacles is very slow in actually arriving with a solid offer here. You know? And now I'm almost picking up with that Ten of Pentacles and the Five of Wands reverse. It's almost like they want to tell you what they want to tell you uh, to stop the fighting, right? Like, um, I don't know. It's almost like they want to say, you know, what do I, what do I need to do for us to reconcile? So let's look at what's happening next here. Where is this headed in the near future? Where is this headed, spirit? For Aquarius and this other person, where is this headed in the near future, please? We have the Seven of Wands reversed again. To someone that's no longer fighting maybe doesn't have the courage to do something uh their guard is down queen of pentacles where is this headed spirit ace of pentacles reverse so i don't think there's a um I feel like this person, when it, you're on different levels, I feel like they want to make you a very solid offer, uh, a full commitment here. I don't think that that's going to happen right away, um, but they recognize your worth here with this Queen of Pentacles. Like they see you as an empress, they see you as someone worthy of their time. Um, they're trying to figure out how to break down those walls, how to get to you, how to approach you, right? But be careful because I feel like if they make any offers or promises you know they might not be able to keep those or complete those at this time so be very careful that you know you're taking what they say with a grain of salt thank you uh, so much for watching for your continued support and i will see you all in another video take care